everybody, it's Aurelian here with a texture pack review. Today we are reviewing the Summer Fields um, updated for Minecraft 1.3 by Lithium Sound. Um, you can see all of the um, chunks here loaded. I, the thing I really like about this texture pack, I, I played with it first and I saw it and I thought about playing with it full time before I decided to do a texture pack review on it. Um, there are a couple of things that I really like about this texture pack. If you look at some of the um, ore, like the diamond ore, it actually sparkles a little bit when you find it. So as if you needed a little bit more excitement for when you finally can scream, I found a diamond! It sparkles just to give you that, that extra, extra excitement. Um, but the other thing I really like about this texture pack is that they use the artwork. There are some pieces of artwork, but there are other things in Minecraft for people who really like to immerse themselves in the game. Um, you can see the tools hanging on the wall, the pots and the pans, the knives, um, the screwdrivers. You can see the, the ladder that's right down here is just some wood planks, um, kind of haphazardly nailed up to the wall. Um, there's some curtains up here, some exposed pipes. So it, it kind of lends itself to being a little bit more of an immersive texture pack. Um, it is a little bit more realistic. The bookshelf has um, some different size, different color to, colors of books. Um, you can see the TNT block up there, the chest and the workbench. Um, obviously, you have your pumpkins over here. And then the cobblestone, obviously, and the bricks. So what we're going to do, oh, there's a trap door. We are going to go ahead and venture out. Let's just review also real quick while we're standing here. Here's the different weapons. The, the thing about the weapons that I thought was really cool is that when you start off with a wood sword, here you go, it's kind of just like a plank. It's not very rough. Um, it just looks like someone's going to beat you with a wooden plank. Um, then you go to the sword. It's a little bit rougher but more sword looking. Iron obviously looks like a, a legit sword. And then you get to this the diamond sword and it looks um, the sharpest and the cleanest. So I like that it's not the same shape, just retextured for each one. Like they've actually gone through and kind of more realistically done each one of the weapons. So we'll go ahead and hop out to our town, check and see what's going on here. So you guys can see what this looks like in action. Oh my God, um, this texture pack too, it, it moves. So you see the grass moves a little bit. In the, in the breeze. We've got our town here. Our beautiful flowers. Oh, okay. Apparently that villager was just going to leave. Say hello to our villager friends. Here we've got uh, the party house, the furnace, got the sink here, the dishwasher, someone made a cake, workbench. <coughs> we've got an enchanting table over here music player. Let's go ahead and get some tunes. You can see the interface here working. Um, oh, it's so peaceful. Beautiful. The torches have that smoke effect on them. It's kind of cartoony looking, but that's alright. I don't really mind it. Um, there's an ocelot in here. I think the ocelot is pretty. We should go find the ocelot. Here we have the beautiful infinity pool along with a spider and some interesting foot over there. <coughs> Here's our, our shed. We've got the water mill over here. Let's see how it's going. Good. The water in this texture pack to me seems a little bit more see-through. You can definitely see the coal that's in there um, the same in the dirt. birch trees. This is just a really great texture pack. I can see playing with this all the time. Um, it's not anything that's too crazy. It's not anything that um, is unplayable in, in any of the different maps. Here's our farmhouse. I recall it's pretty empty. Yep, some wool floors, some glowstone lights. Go back and check and see how our farm is doing. Do a little flyby. We've got our wheat doing great our watermelons and the vines. The vines are pretty cute. Pumpkins, a little bit more realistic. No jack-o'-lantern faces there. Let's st stroll over to our barn. See how things are doing 
over there, making sure that the uh, animals aren't getting too, too out of control. It's so peaceful. This texture pack. This is made um, out of supplies from the nether, obviously. Got that farm ride. Let's go in here. Stay out of here, sheep. Look at you can actually see that the sheep kind of looks a little bit raggy. Look at his face! He's so cute! Hi! Let's go upstairs. Check on our chickens and our pigs. Oh, look, the pigs are somewhat dirty. That's really neat. I like that they're different. Each pig is just a little bit different. Some of them have dirt on their face, some of them have dirt on their feet. That's <coughs> pretty cool. Whoa! Fall off the edge there. Here are the chickens. We've got some white and oh, that egg is cracking. That's so neat. Those chickens look awesome. Alright, let's fly back down here. Look at our cows. The cows are the same way as the cows. The cows are all a little bit different looking. The sheep. Hi, sheep. Let's sh go ahead and shear a sheep and see what it looks like. Golden hoe. Plenty of steel. Sheep. Oh, I don't have scissors. That would be easier to find. Oh! Oh, you're naked, sheep. Very, very cute. I see this as not being like a cutesy texture pack. Like, I think even some of my very tough guy friends would, would like this texture pack. Looks great. Let's go up and see how our puppies are doing. Hi. You have a little bandana on. You actually, this one actually looks like a wolf to me instead of um, a dog. Usually they look like dogs and I sometimes forget that they're, they are wolves. Here's the bed. Looks comfy. Looks nice. Seems like everything interacts pretty well. Let's do a little flyby so we can see some of the different biomes. Got some nice trees. Oh, here's another sheep. Let's shear him. See what he looks like fly into the caves too. There's some lava down here. That's neat. Gravel. Cobblestone. I think that's iron. Yeah, that's iron. Everything, I mean, everything seems like it's pretty easy to recognize. There's some texture packs I've played with before where it's hard to distinguish iron from diamonds or cobblestone from gravel. But it seems like everything in this texture pack is pretty easy um, to recognize. Got some cool vines hanging down from the trees here. This is pretty neat. I like how simplistic everything in this texture pack is. I don't ever feel like I'm overwhelmed with stuff. Even in some of the more simple texture packs, I tend to get a little bit overwhelmed with you know how, how just how simplistic it is like this to me seems like it's a good balance between the vanilla minecraft textures and then also like here's mushroom the vanilla minecraft textures plus a little bit more realistic plus it's still attractive to look at and appealing to look at and it's not going to make it difficult to play um, in any it's not going to make it difficult to play you know if you're going to go into a survival games map or anything else. Well, it seems like we are having a hard time playing in the jungle. I feel like the squids are all different colors. That's the thing I really like about this texture pack too is that, you know, everything kind of it looks individual. It's not like every cow looks the same, every pig looks the same. You know, you obviously you're limited on, um, on how many there are, but even just looking at these pigs down here, they all kind of have their own unique look to them. Alright. So we're back from our little fly above just to give us a good overview of what it, it looks like to play with this extra pack. So let's go ahead and do time. Let's go ahead and do time set. Right? There we go. 
Oh, Everything kind of gives everything like a pinkish hue. Interesting. Okay. Let's see if we can wait for some zombies and some creepers and the skeleton to spawn. All right. We've let some time go by. We've got some zombies and some stuff. are the same. I kind of briefly saw this a little bit earlier, but all of the zombies look different. There's one that has a brain, like, half hanging out of a skull, and it looks so creepy. Let's see if we can find him. Uh, he, oh, wait, here he is. Look at this. He's covered in blood. Half of his brain is missing. So that's, that's the thing about the sex pack I like is that all of the zombies are kind of individual. They don't all look the same. There's one that's got a striped shirt on and saw him. So we have our little family of zombies. And spiders. Let's see if we can find the baby creepers. Because they're so cute and tiny. Baby creepers, where are you? You know, I actually could just go ahead and spawn them. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and spawn. Creeper. Skeleton. Looks like they have mustaches. Just a little bit. There's some little babies. There they are, walking around. Our skeletons are all different. They kind of look like pirates or ninjas. He's got his little headband on. You can see through them. Very bony. Those are our slime cube. Oh, look at his eyes. That's cool that the, it's kind of opaque on the outside. I do like this one here. Just to see what we've got here. Oh, he's actually got... That's hilarious. Look at his belly. Oh, we got a fight. Fight! He's got like the body of a man with the head of a kid and the tail of a kid. you guys have kind of seen all the oh oh that's no good now that you guys have seen all of the uh different textures in this texture pack again this is summer summer field i will link that in the description below um it, it hasn't been glitchy at all i've i've run around i've played with it um it, it seems to work really well everything's updated for 1.3 so go ahead and head over to plantminecraft.com and check out summer fields Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in game soon. Bye!